the top five analog only handheld transceivers ht radios for the ham radio market today the top five my top five picks for the end of 2022 coming into 2023 what are the best five hts that don't include digital modes but are just analog only let's go analog only means they don't do d-star they don't do digital modes they don't do dmr Yezu System Fusion, P25, anything like that. If you're looking for the top radios of my pick of the top radios for those digital modes, check this link right here and go watch that video. But today's video is about analog only. Let's go. This video is sponsored by Mezzi and Palomi Coax. Mezzi and Palomi, or M&P Coax out of Italy, makes some of the best coax and best feed line available to the amateur radio community today from their smallest size around five millimeters to their largest size around 13 millimeters and beyond they offer something for everyone in every activity of amateur radio direct berry coax for your home shack and high temperature coax for those types of environments is also available from their catalog their evo or evolution pl259 connectors are some of the best i have ever seen in this industry if you want some of the greatest coax and feed line made for the amateur radio community today, check out the link in the description below to save a 5% discount. And thank you, Mezzi and Plomy, for supporting this channel. Like I do with most of these videos, we're going to start at the bottom price and we're going to go up in price. Generally speaking, the lower priced radios uh, have less features. The higher priced radios have more features like maybe more bands or more memory channel capacity, something like that. So we're going to talk about all this right now. The lowest priced one on today's list is the Yezu FT65. This is a Japanese made radio, so it's not made in China. All of Yezu's products are currently made, fully made and assembled in Japan. Coming over here to rnl.com, which is a website retailer out of Ohio. And you should check their website every day because on the front page of their website, they have daily specials every day. But this radio sells for $88.89. Now, it is currently out of stock. You can see this right here. And I went ahead and pulled up the Amazon site because why not? It's $112 on Amazon, but they're in stock right now. Or it's $88 on rnl.com. So you can take your pick of... If you're really impatient, go to Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. But there you go. So the FT65 is a 5-watt radio, dual band, uh, 2 meters and 440, or 2 meters and 70 centimeter. This is a direct conversion receiver. Some people ask, is this super heterodyne? Is it direct sampling? Is it direct conversion? So this is a direct conversion receiver. If you want to know more about that, you can find examples of different types of receivers on YouTube on, on different channels. We're not talking about that specific thing today. The unit actually comes with a 1950 milliamp hour battery. And it has an optional higher capacity 2500 milliamp hour battery. So in other words, you can get a higher capacity battery for this radio and you're not limited to the one it just comes with. It is IP54 rated for dust and water protection. So that radio being made in Japan is going to be a higher quality than most of your Chinese stuff. We will be talking about a couple of Chinese radios today. This one coming in $88 at the bottom of the list today is a Japanese radio. Definitely going on the list because it is a great radio for a beginner. Very good audio uh, send, transmitting, good audio receiving, and just a versatile radio that you're going to have for years to come. Moving up is kind of its big brother that's been out for a lot longer. This is the Yezu FT60. Now, this ra radio is like 15 or 20 years old. I don't even remember exactly when this radio came out, but it's still in production at the time of this recording, which is why I'm including it today. It's almost twice the price at $155 over here at gigaparts.com. It has a 1,000 memory channels with alpha numeric labels, 10 memory banks, high power of 5 watts. It has a long-life 1,400 milliamp hour battery and an overnight charger included. When this radio came out, they came with nickel cadmium batteries. That's how old this radio is. I believe, someone can correct me in the comments if you want to, I believe there are newer versions of the battery that come with this, that you can get in, a, It's I think it's an accessory, it's an additional purchase you have to make to get like a lithium iron battery for this radio. But this radio has been out so long that it's it's got old battery technology that came with some of the with the original ones and I'm not sure if you buy a brand new one today I'm not sure if it comes still comes with the NICAD or if it comes with an upgraded battery or not because I've never actually owned one of these but the reason this radio is still made is because it's so tried and true they're so bulletproof everybody loves this radio the thing I think that it's a little bit of a drawback about this radio is that it's single band received so while it's dual band you can do two meters or 70 centimeter you can only listen to one at a time 
you got one display. You can listen to 440 at a time. You can listen to two meter at one time. You can switch back and forth between and save both bands and memory channels, but you can only monitor one at a time. The FT65 actually comes that way, but there's a menu option to go in there and change that where you can actually monitor both bands at the same time. The FT60, I don't think has that feature, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, everybody I know who says, uh, all of my club members who own one of these radios say that it's single band receive, even though it is a dual band radio. But there's such good radios they're such tried and true radios they've been out so long they've stood the test of time that they're definitely getting added to the list today if you want a radio that you're going to have and you're going to be able to keep for the next 10 to 20 years the yezu once again yezu all japanese made radios yezu ft60r 155 dollars is definitely on the list today now we're going to move over here into the chinese world and i've only got two chinese radios on the list today because i said that these were the top my top five recommended analog hts for 2022 so this one this is a uv 9d mate over at buy two way radios.com uh, links to all to this and everything that we talk about today will be in the description below i carry this radio myself i carry this radio myself i like that it is orange in color because i have been carrying this one at my hunting lease several times and one time I dropped, I, tar I carried it at the hunting lease all the time. One time I dropped it when I was walking back to camp and one of my dear lease buddies was driving along and he saw the radio in the road because it was orange. If it had been tan or green or something, or maybe even black, he wouldn't have been able to see it so easily. So he saw the radio, he stopped and picked it up. He's like, this has got to be Jason's. Jason's the radio nerd on the, on the hunting lease. And he brought it back to me. He's like, is this yours? I'm like, yeah, thanks. I didn't even realize I lost it. So the high visibility of the orange color on the radio makes it um good to take out in the field and uh and increases your chances of not losing it it does do between 10 and 11 watts per band it's advertised as a 10 watts of power i did a video on this channel when this radio was new and i did a power test it holds a thousand memory channels so you've got plenty of room to save memory channels from all kinds of stuff it has from all kinds of different services not just ham radio it has seven bands that it will receive on top of the two amateur radio bands some of these earlier ones now i don't condone this guys okay but i'm just going to say this out loud some of these earlier ones that have full open transmit will allow you to transmit on mers and gmrs frequencies I'm not going to tell you, you know, I'm I, I'm not the FCC. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Is it legal? Is it, it's not a legal GMRS radio. No. But if you need to transmit in an emergency, then it's there. And if you do transmit and just are not a jack wagon on the air, probably nobody's going to say anything to you. Moving on. So it'll do, it comes with a 3200 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. It comes with a desk charger that's included. So the UV90 Mate, $159.99 at buy2wayradios.com. I bought this radio. Actually, I think they sent me this radio. If, I'm, if I remember correctly, I think they sent it to me. It's been two or three years since this radio re was released, and I don't remember for sure. But I still carry it today. In 2022, late 2022, I still carry this radio. This is usually my go-to radio for analog dual-band HTs if I'm going to go out somewhere and use my All-Star Note or something like that. This is a great radio for that option. It's Big Brother and much newer than the UV-90 mate. And the reason I call it Big Brother is because, well, I'll, I'll explain that here in a second. So the UV-9 Papa X-Ray is brand new from bettersaferadio.com. You can save a 7% discount at bettersaferadio.com with the coupon code of HR2 all 7 7% off of this radio and off of everything else that they have on their site. Go check out bettersaferadio.com. They're a great sponsor of the show, so thanks to those guys for being out there. The great thing about this radio is it's, it is black, like you see in the picture here. It has basically all of the same features that I just spoke about in the UV90 Mate. The great thing about this radio is that it comes pre-programmed with over 900 memory channels in it. So those of you who are new to ham radio, or maybe those of you who have been into GMRS for a little bit and you decided to get into ham radio, your GMRS radios, you're used to those, you guys are used to those radios coming with all 22 of the GMRS channels programmed. You've got all 22 frequencies, plus usually, what is it, six or eight repeater frequencies pre-programmed in the radio. It comes in there for you. You have to set the CTCSS tone or digital CES tone. Uh, to some of the repeaters, or you can set that on simplex too if you want to, and then talk that way. But all of your frequencies and offsets are already programmed in the radio. This radio is that same way as well. It has all of MERS, Marine, GMRS, FRS, receive only on this radio because this one's locked down to the ham bands. But it has all of your ham radio 
simplex frequencies programmed. It has a lot of different ham radio repeater frequencies that are used nationwide, pre-programmed. And it has a lot of police, fire, EMS, emergency, care flight, blah, 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 uh, marine band, all kinds of commercial band, all kinds of stuff pre-programmed into it. Over 900 pre-programmed memory channels in there. Makes a great radio for someone who's just getting into ham radio because you've already got all that stuff. You just go, go in there and click on scan and let it scan through the whole band, the whole 900 and memory channel code plug that's in there and you can find out what's near you because something if you live in one state it's going to be different than someone else living in another state east coast west coast north of the united states south of the united states wherever it's going to be different in your area so you can scan through the whole thing figure out which frequencies are getting used by the police and the fire personnel and the ambulance service and whatnot in your area and have a great radio to be able to monitor all that stuff so 199 dollars today many of the same features that the uv 9d mate has 999 memory channels, a lot of different stuff. Better Safe Radio is a USA company, so while these radios are made in China, they are designed by Better Safe Radio in the USA, and if you ever have a problem, you can call someone or email someone directly in the USA, and they can take care of your problem for you. Moving back to the Japanese market, we're going back to ICOM. ICOM, ICT-10 is a VHF, UHF, FM transceiver. This looks a lot like their commercial rate commercial LMR, what's called LMR, land mobile radio uh, type radios. So I got to see one of these at the Dayton Hamvention in 2020. It was in May of 2020, and it's a really neat looking radio. Very low frills, very few bells and whistles, analog only, dual band, single display. I'm not sure if you can change that to dual display or not. Start shipping the mid-summer of 2022. These have already been shipping right here. ICOM is a Japanese company, so you're going to get a lot of the support and features and whatnot that you're used to seeing from the ICOM brand of radio, which is which a lot of people like. There's a, there's a lot of ICOM fans out there, so if you're wanting a dual band analog only radio, this one might be for you. 208 channels, including two call and six scan edge channels. Lockdown of the hand bands, 144 to 148 transmit, one um. 430 to 450 transmit, which most uh, which is most ham radios, and it comes in at 239 over at gigaparts.com. So if you just like ICOM, there's a lot of people out there just like ICOM, you want a dual band non-digital HT, this might be a really good choice for you. This last one is probably one of my favorites because this is a Japanese tri-band radio. The Japanese tri-band radio. This one includes the 220 megahertz band, which is unfortunately forgotten about in a lot of newer design radios. This radio is still in production. This is a Yaesu VX6R. It does 4 to 5 watts on 2 meters and 70 centimeters, and only 1.5 watts on 220, but 1.5 watts on 220 is better than no 220 at all, or better than receive only on 220. So this one and is an actual transmitting tri-band radio. It is a single band display, as you can see right there. It looks a lot like the, the FT60 that we spoke about a moment ago, except that it is tri-band. A little bit newer design, a little bit newer battery system than the FT60. So you can see right here, multi-band, 2 meter, 70 centimeter on 5 watts, 220 is 1.5. We'll transmit on all three bands, but because it doesn't transmit at full power on 220, the manufacturer calls it a dual band. Okay, well whatever it transmits on 220 it's a tri-band in my book but this is a really cool radio if you want to get into 220 if you have 220 repeaters in your area if you and your buddies want to get on 220 and talk simplex to one another because that band's very quiet so you can almost have the simplex frequency to yourself you and a couple of friends who have your ham radio licenses you can get this 1.5 watts on 220 is going to reach out a l much longer than it will on a busier band because the noise floor is lower that depends on area. It's contingent on where you are, but that's certainly true here where I am. So $249 for an actual Japanese-made tri-band, including 220, handheld HT. Uh, at the late 2022, the VX6R is definitely on this list today. So that's it. That is my top five. And the UV90 Mate and the UV9 Pop X-Ray are very similar radios. The FT60 and 65 and even the VX6R are similar radios. The ICOM kind of unique on its own. But those are my top five analog-only HTs for the end of 2022 and coming into 2023. What do you guys think? Did I miss something? Is there something else out there that you use that's analog only, that's dual band? I'm not talking about, I'm not really talking about mono band, two meters only or 440 only radios today. I'm talking about at least 
dual band, if not tri band radios. What else is out there? What do you like? Put a comment below and thanks for watching. And I did a, uh, <clears throat> I spoke with John Crook from Yezu, the North American Yezu representative, and he reiterated the fact that they used to have. All of, all of Yezu's stuff is made in Japan.